What's up guys, welcome back. Today I've got a 20 minute bicep workout for you. Uh, we've done arm workouts in the past, but never just a bicep workout. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. We do a lot of fun workouts together. I don't waste your time though, so let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do today is a close grip curl. You don't need any anchors for this workout, which is great. Uh, we're just gonna step inside the band. Sorry if you can't see anything, don't have a very big space to record, and keep our hands pretty close together and your elbows by your side. And that's how we'll start. We do everything for five minutes, 30 seconds of rest when you hit failure, back on until we get through five minutes. So four exercises today. I am gonna get the timer started. Let's go. That was quick, that was fast. But that's not how we do our exercises. Slow and controlled. Oh yeah. Should feel it pretty quick. 20 minutes of this kind of workout with biceps gonna get you pretty good. You don't have to be in the gym for an hour. Sometimes I am, but I would not spend an entire hour on my biceps typically. <sighs> Heavy breathing. Heavy breathing, always. If you can keep going, need more resistance, step a little bit wider. Otherwise, get a bigger band, which I think I'm gonna do next time. Ah, yeah, we got through a whole minute there, so I'm gonna go to a little bit heavier of a band. Hope everyone's doing well. I forgot my water, that's not good. I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to pause this real quick after I finish this one. And then uh, go get myself some water. All right, this is gonna be way heavier. Remember, 30 seconds of rest, you fail, you hit 30 seconds, you don't fail when I fail, at least you shouldn't. If you do, we've got some sort of uh, psychic connection going on. There we go. Ah. Important thing with biceps is to try and hit all the different heads of the muscle, which we should do pretty well today. I've got it split up, so that will alternate between the long and the short head. Good deal, good deal. This is hard on your hands. I do have uh, handles that I sell for these. I actually designed them. It's part of uh, one of the products, one of the two products in my business. I'll put a link to those in the, uh, the description if you want to check them out. I've got links to bands and uh, anchors if you do the other workouts with us. We use the anchors and the bands pretty much every workout. Sometimes we don't need the anchor. Usually we do. Today we don't. I did that on purpose. Did that on purpose because we had a request for workouts without anchor points. I try to do as many of the requests as possible. I'll do a glute workout pretty soon. I wanted to get a bicep workout in. Honestly, I worked legs yesterday, and or not yesterday, two days ago, and I'm stupid sore. But I promise a glute workout is coming. <laughs> Oh boy, minute 55, 30 seconds to rest. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling real good. It's hot today though, I'm gonna be sweating pretty fast. But that's okay, that's okay, I don't mind it. A little bit of heat. All right, we're getting close. Remember, slow, controlled, squeeze. Don't try to cheat, don't try to move your body too much. You can tell when you're starting to fatigue, when you do those things. Try to keep your elbows in one place. They're, uh, they call them cheat curls, where you kind of like lean back and throw your elbows up a little bit. That's it's different, still a good exercise, but that's not what we're trying to do right now. Just a standing close grip curl. Basically simulating using an easy bar, like a barbell curl. Oh man, 45 seconds left. I'm gonna get down to 
25, I think. I'm gonna finish the rest of this out. And then I'm gonna pause the camera. I'm gonna go get my water, because I need to stay hydrated. I hope you're staying hydrated right now. Learn from my mistakes. All right, last 25 seconds. Let's get this in. It's time. All right, guys, I will be right back. All right, guys, I grabbed my water, and uh, now we're gonna get on to drag curls. So drag curls, um, basically, we'll keep our hands at about shoulder width distance apart, step inside the bands, just like you did last time, and we'll be pulling it straight up along our torso. Basically, your elbows will go back with you this time. It's a good one. I'm excited about it. All right, let me get the timer started. Five minutes, let's go. This one you'll probably be able to go quite a bit heavier on. I might have to get a bigger band. Not the blue band, if you've seen the blue band. That boy is heavy. That's like a deadlift band. If you need more resistance, try widening your stance a little bit. Spread the band out. If you still need more, bigger band. Try to keep track too. Keep track of which bands you use for which exercise. How long it takes you to get to failure. Try a heavier band. You should always try. I do typically do that. When I work out at the gym, I'll write down what weight I used for something and I'll try to up it by uh, a small amount and see how many I can get. If it's stupid hard, I go back down to the same weight that I used the last time. Yeah, this is too light, I think. Yeah. All right, I'll go into the purple band. I've got to take, I've got this wrapped up with a rubber band because I don't use it very often. I haven't used it in a while. This one's going to be a little, a little challenging. <laughs> That's all right. Whew. I hope everybody is doing good today. For everybody that watches these, thank you. I hope, uh, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you enjoy working out with me. I've been known to make a couple people uh, throw up while working out. Not with resistance bands, but in general. And I don't apologize for it. I think they were lying though. Slow and controlled. Breathe. Oh my gosh. It's a burner. You should be feeling it pretty good already. And we still have two exercises left. It doesn't take a whole lot to burn you out. Especially if you're keeping true to uh, how much rest you're taking. And really focusing on engaging your muscles. It cannot be overstated. Alrighty, I think that's it. This is a nice one too. I really like this one for uh, if you're traveling or something, this workout in general, because you don't need to anchor it anywhere. You get a good bicep workout, with just a couple resistance bands. But if you actually bring resistance bands and work out while you travel, you're better than I am because you know I've thought about it. I've brought them with me and I almost never actually use them. If I can find a gym at the place I'm staying at, that's what I do. Um, but even if I can't, I feel like I feel like I just won't take the time. I just want to I want to chill, you know. It's good to take breaks every once in a while too. I struggle with that though struggle with taking breaks. 
Are you breathing? Are you grunting? Are you snarling? Are you sweating? Where are you at today? Are you showing up? I'm showing up for you. You gotta show up for me. 34 seconds. I'm gonna let it get down to 20. Burn it out. Do it with me. Do it with me. Let's try at a different pace. But if you finish and you got 30 seconds left, don't just rest for that 30 seconds. Finish it out strong. Ooh, let's go. Get 1% better every day. That's the goal. 1% better. That 1% compounds over time. 1% better is 365% a year. I don't know the math off the top of my head. Ah, all right. Woo. Next exercise, we're right back. Third exercise, we're gonna do another curl. Same thing as the first one, except this time, instead of having a close grip, we're gonna do a wide grip. Keep your arms kinda out to the side a little bit. Um, yeah, I got nothing else. Five minutes, let's go. Same thing too, try to keep your elbows in the same position in space. Slow, controlled, squeeze. Question for you guys. Do you want me to keep doing workouts or do you want me to do um, videos that just show you the exercises I like or both? So you know, if I do that, you can make up your own workouts. I don't know. Maybe I should do both of them. But I want to know your thoughts, what you like better. I know for me, I like to work out in a group setting. I like to have somebody else pushing me. So I think that's beneficial, it's helpful. Oh, dang. And sometimes I just make up my own workouts. I'll Google and try and find some new exercises, make my own stuff up at the gym. Ooh. Oh my gosh. This one's hurting. <laughs> All right, we only have one more exercise after this one, so stay with me. We only got 20 minutes of work today. It's not much. That's not much. You can stay with me. Oh, I'm sweating. Are you hydrated? You better be. Oh man. Whew. I wonder if the neighbors are watching today. I don't know. I thought I just saw somebody. Who knows? Maybe they're working out. Maybe I should like gift my neighbors a set of resistance bands and text them say hey follow along we're recording today Crushing me. Two minutes left for this exercise. And we got one more. We're done. Almost there. Short one today. Like I said, you don't need much. Um, although, usually when we do an arm workout, I think we typically do three exercises for buys, three exercises for tries. So today, you get four for biceps. So you're getting more volume for your biceps. Just uh, not hitting the tries, also, which I don't always do them together. 
Remember, slow controlled. Elbows at the same position and space as best you can. They'll move a little bit. There's nothing you can really do about that. Unless we had a preacher curl bench, which would be ideal. But we don't. Working with what we got. Oh man, 55 seconds. We get down to 30 and burn it out. Are you with me? Are you with me? Oh man, I can feel the blood in my arms right now. It feels great. Nothing like a good bicep pump. Except for a good chest pump or a shoulder pump or a leg pump. Okay, any pump. Any pump is great. 30 seconds, let's go. No more messing around. Ugh. Almost there. I can't see my timer, so I'm just gonna have to wait for it to go off. Slow, controlled, squeeze. There it is. All right, guys, one more exercise. Let me switch it up. All right, final exercise. We're gonna do a hammer curl. Um, I don't know why I switched it up. I'm using the exact same band. I thought I was gonna need an anchor. I think that's just a habit at this point. Anyways, we're gonna step inside the band. Um, hands are going to stay basically at shoulder width, distance apart again, but this time when we pull up, we're keeping our, our fists pointed forward like that. So instead, we're not going like this, we're going like this. Hits the long head of the, uh, the bicep. So, oop, lost my timer. And let's, let's go. This one's easy to adjust to if you need uh, more resistance, you can choke up on the band. I guess they can all, you can do that with all of them. You'll just have a little bit of slack in the middle or widen your stance. Slow, controlled, breathe. Should have a lot of blood and your biceps right now. Oh. 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 Which is good. I need to have a lot of blood in my biceps to take the thumbnail picture for this video. <laughs> oh gosh. <clears throat> I'll be honest, I was not expecting to sweat this much. <coughs> it's about to be like 90 degrees here today. I don't think we're quite there yet, but we're definitely in the 70s. Remember, 30 seconds of rest and back on. Stay with me. Stay with me. Me and a buddy of mine in high school and started working out together. I used to always say that happy muscles grow better than sad muscles. We were always laughing and joking around in the gym. <laughs> so I think it's a good thing. You should smile while you're working out. Maybe that needs to be a t-shirt too. Happy muscles grow better than sad muscles. <laughs> I like it. Oh my gosh. We're almost there, guys. Last exercise, stay with me. Push through. If you can get one more rep, do one more rep. If you're fatiguing, take that rest. I think I jumped in too soon, that's all right. Maybe not. I'm horrible about keeping time on that 30 seconds for myself. I hope you guys are better. But my ADHD brain says, okay, I have 30 seconds from this point, and then I think about something else. And then a second later, I can't remember. Oh, 
Oh, you breathing? You sweating? Are you hydrated? I'm gonna ask you that all the time. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Minute 41. That means at a minute 11. I'm saying it for myself, not for you. Because you're probably failing at a different time. Maybe right now. Less than a minute and a half. You gotta push through. You gotta push through for me. I'm here for you. You gotta show up for me. We're in this together. Not just to look pretty. Well, that's a nice benefit. But to be strong and healthy for as long as we can. To enjoy as much as we can while we're on this earth. Almost there, almost there. 39 seconds, I'm getting down to 20, and I'm burning out. Burn out with me. We're almost there, guys, and girls. Anybody who's watching. Okay. Come on, do it with me. We gotta be strong together. Don't let up on me now. We got four seconds. Push it. Ah, there we go. All right, we're done. Quick one today. Thank you guys if you had some fun. Subscribe. We got more workouts coming. Like this video because it helps me. I appreciate you guys. All right, we'll see you in the next one.